America the Beautiful, God shed his grace upon thee. From sea to mighty sea, rugged mountains, plentiful prairies, and bountiful forests have provided every means of sustenance and inspiration for hundreds of years. Hymns of our forefathers proclaiming her beauty also tells the story of great sacrifices, land where our fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. Because of them, she became our sweet land of liberty. We have sacrificed so much for her and what she stands for. We have sacrificed near and afar. We've given life and limb, sons and daughters, husbands and wives, heroes who more than self their country loved. Those poetic hymns once familiar now become faint, inspiring melodies that once united every man, woman, and child. Behind the bright stars and bold stripes of old glory have seemingly been forgotten. How did we get here? When the red and white and starry blue has been freedom's shield of hope here and abroad, draping the heroes who gave all and stirring the pride of those left to continue onward, we must willfully and forever stand beside her. Our young people today have thankfully escaped the experience of war and its lessons. Those of us who have not forgotten no, we are fewer and fewer by the day. We feel an almost unbearable combination of hurt, failure, and hopelessness. My, how we have traveled so far from where we were as a strong, dogged people united in purpose and love for freedom. Have we the people forgotten? While some may have short memories and others slumber, those too young to understand must be taught to remember by those who understand the enormity of our stewardship. We must teach to honor. We must teach to preserve. We must teach to inspire. We must teach to prevent the horrors of the past from being revisited upon our youth. We must hold the line. The Medal of Honor, our nation's highest award for valor, has been presented to those few Americans who have exemplified the character traits that all Americans find instrumental to the continuation of freedom, patriotism, citizenship, courage, integrity, sacrifice, and commitment. These noble qualities are both timeless and universal. They are within the reach of every boy, girl, man, and woman who endeavors to be part of something bigger than themselves. Ordinary men like Charles H. Coolidge who at the age of 20 enlisted to serve the country he loved, traveling thousands of miles to an unfamiliar land where his brave actions saved the lives of his soldiers and citizens. Coolidge, like many soldiers, traveled through war-torn villages and towns. Soldiers would often share their food rations with hungry children and villagers, as Coolidge humbly did. Some 40 years after the war, he returned to that countryside in France, where he didn't meet a hungry boy, but the man that he had fed. Kindness transcends all things. A small sacrifice, a simple act of generosity, changes a man forever. Character is explicitly tied to education. Values passed down through instruction, training, and example are the foundation for a worthwhile life. Whether on the battlefield or in the boardroom, on the playground or in the classroom, 
character within our citizenry provides for stronger families, safer communities, and a prosperous nation. If we are diligent, our youth will learn from the past. A past that, despite being riddled with tragedies and trials, also holds the best of who we are as a nation united. Men and women of service, compassion, and kindness. They will understand what it is to sacrifice, to be a good citizen, to choose the harder right versus the easier wrong. May we also remember those stories and memories of the past and cradle them gently in our hearts, passing them on to younger hands to hold and preserve. If ever we had a duty, a responsibility, a debt, it most certainly would be to honor those who have dutifully and selflessly sacrificed for our freedom. O oh, beautiful for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. Let us embrace a renewed sense of purpose and not be dissuaded for what we know to be true, that America is a melting pot, inclusive of every race, color, and creed, united and free. Our future depends on you and it depends on me. God bless America, our home sweet home.